Hello? Hello? What's up, YouTube? Uh, just an update video this week. Wanted to show you, actually I wanted to uh, give you a quick tour of the boat because it's been a while since I've even shown you kind of the progress of what I've been doing on the boat. It was a couple months ago when I released my video of uh, me buying the new, the new old 1965 Choi Lee. And since then I've shown you some of the, the maintenance, you know, the, the head work, the uh, engine work, but I haven't shown any of the progress I've been making with the uh, on the deck the teak work Which is the one thing that's been taking crazy amounts of time uh, I mean everybody well a lot of people not only in YouTube whenever I bought the boat But in real life as well friends and people I know here in the boating community all told me like oh yeah, You don't know what you're getting into with that that woodworking on that boat uh, of course as a naive a boat owner uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm eager to you know, make it happen I'm eager to repair everything I'm eager to do the maintenance now fast forward that it's been a year since I've owned this boat I know that video I put out was only like two months ago but that's just because it takes a while to get these videos edited and I've got other projects that I'm working on in the mix and other boat work anyway I'm doing a lot of uh, video editing so a lot of times the videos are quite um, delayed so that's why it's been a year now since I've owned the boat and I can show you uh, some of the progress I've been making. Still not completed. I have been working on this boat probably two or three days a week for a year and I still haven't gotten it completed yet. Uh, so it's crazy and the, the woodworking is completely insane. The varnishing, the removal of the old varnish so I'm going to show you some of that today. The other reason I wanted to get this out quickly is because we're taking off tomorrow for a trip to Spain. Really looking forward to that. A couple of reasons. One, it's one of our first uh, big vacations since the whole COVID thing. Obviously we planned this uh, whenever stuff started opening back up. Uh, not expecting that this now new Delta thing and now everything's closing down again. So hopefully it's going to be okay with this trip. But um, looking forward to that. But also, I'm meeting up with a guy in Spain that is another fellow sailor. Uh, he has a he has a podcast called Ocean Cruisers Podcast. He has a boat near Malaga, Spain. I'm going to meet up with him for a week. He and I are going to go cruising around. We're going to go to uh, Ibiza, Ibiza, Ibiza. Hi, Josh. Hope you're doing well. So we're anchored up here in San Antonio Bay in the northern part of uh, Ibiza. Um, beautiful anchorage. Loads of restaurants. Uh, little mini beaches to choose from it's fantastic and then tomorrow we're going to start heading south to the island of formentera where we're going to meet up with you in a few days time so have a really safe flight enjoy the trip to spain and i look forward to seeing you we're going to do some cruising i'm going to put together some videos and show you that experience so i'm really looking forward to showing you real sailing instead of just the the maintenance that i've been doing on my boat so anyway, today I just want to show you the day in the life of what I typically do when I go to my boat. Uh, it's quite a routine. I'm here in New uh, Newport Beach at the Newport Harbor. I have my boat on a mooring ball. So let's get at it. Okay, so I first grab the paddle board out of the back of the car. Unroll the paddle board. And this week, something slightly different because normally I use this old crusty electric uh, pump for my paddle board. But this week, this week, if I can get into this. This week, the nice folks, the nice folks at this company, Airbank, sent me a new pump for my inflatable stand up paddle board. So let's jump in. Whoa, woohoo. Looks a little like a space spaceship. So it has, it has your hose here. It says there inflate, deflate. So we'll put this on our inflate situation. Ooh, this is nice. Alright, what do we got here? Has the nozzle that we need. Let's see what else we got. We got a bunch of accessories in here different nozzles for blowing up different things probably 
probably even do like an air mattress and stuff with these. Okay. Must be the power cord. Cool, perfect. DC outlet power cord. So let's set it up. I'm gonna plug this thing in, lock it into place. Okay. Okay, we go. We've got this end, put it here. Where does it go? Right there. Okay. Okay, let's turn this baby on. Okay, I had it set at 12 and it turned off at 12. Thank you, Airbank. All right, now let's carry this paddleboard to the dock. So, <laughs> all right, made it onto the boat. Uh, also, I'm just looking at myself in the little thing here. I wanted to point out something to you guys. So my hair has been getting so gray right here. I decided to go ahead and bleach the top to match it. Now it's just completely, completely white, out of control. Anyway, now that we've made it onto the boat, um, just really wanted to show you the progress I've made. Uh, some before and after shots. So I've stripped most of the varnish. I have re-varnished the tow rails, re-varnished around the entire cabin, uh, re-varnished the handrails. What I am lacking now, I have to revarnish, and actually I have to still strip off and revarnish the boxes on top of the cabin. Also the pin rails um, on the sides there. I still have to do the cockpit area. And I'm already noticing, so just to kind of give you the process of what I've been doing, and by the way, I'm gonna make a video on how to varnish, but I'm glad that I have waited this long. I'm glad I waited like the eight or nine months to learn everything I needed to know, because at first, thinking I knew something by doing my own research and watching other videos, I didn't know much of anything. Now that I've actually spoken to tons of people at the docks, other workers that are working on their other boats, I have learned a ton. Uh, the guy that actually has his boat right where I launch my paddleboard whenever I come over here to the boat, he has a guy, but first of all, his, the varnishing is just really beautiful on that boat, but he has a guy, Mario, who works full time on his boat. He has him on salary, 40 hours a week, it's not even a huge boat, but he's got him working full time to do the varnishing and any, any little touch-ups and stuff. That's the kind of devotion you need if you're going to have really spectacular varnish. My technique is not that at that level. Um, I'm getting it to where it's going to look nice, but it's not like a museum piece. Uh, where was I? Where was I? 
even though I will have a video coming out about how to varnish, I'll give you a little summary of what I do, which is I get the, first of all, I have to get the generator on the deck uh, because obviously no power here at the mooring. So I'm powering up the generator. I'm plugging in a heat gun. I'm putting the heat gun to the var the old varnish. I'm taking a scraper. I'm scraping off the old varnish like one inch at a time, super tedious. Um, after I then sand it and get it all looking nice, I then put on a coat of uh, epoxy sealer. I let that dry for a few days. I come back and I start putting on my coats of varnish. Uh, I put on five or six coats of varnish. I should do more uh, and I'm going to do more, but uh, I wanted to just try to get everything done as quick as possible. And then what my plan of action is, is to make it more manageable. I've now taken the boat and kind of divided things into six sections. That way I can focus one month on a section and I can do that twice a year. And that's the minimum probably that you could get by with uh, to make sure that the, the varnish does not continue to uh, peel and uh, you have to start the whole process over again. Uh, I definitely don't want to start the process over again, so I want to stay on top of it. My plan is to go ahead and put the coats on to each of those sections uh, as for as long as I own the boat. But yes, I will say uh, the people who commented on my first video whenever I first bought this boat and also people I've just talked to around that have seen this wooden, you know, all the woodwork on the boat have warned me how labor intensive it is. And yes, it is that labor intensive, just to, just to tell you. Anyhow, that's the update from here. Thank you for watching. I am really excited for the future videos. Uh, meeting up with Andy from the Ocean Cruisers podcast in Spain. So I'm gonna put together some videos of that. Excited for that, excited to share that with you. But for now, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. up in here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Much better. Um, so then, then to actually um, re-varnish, 